of course. <laughs> um, everyone's lying if they don't, you know, look back. Um, but just, you know, what I've been through, you know, over the last year, just losing the velo like that, knowing I'm making strides ever since I got to spring training here and just improving every day, getting that velo up in my bullpens and my live BPs. And, you know, I just thought today, I just, you know, I, I have something in me. I know it's, I know it's in there, you know, and I, you know, saw a couple 96, 97s. And I'm just, you know, I could tell a couple guys I could cry right now. Just very happy on overall the progress that that has been made, and I know that is me. And if I can get back to that type of pitching, I can be um, I'm very dangerous in this game. And um, like I said, we're just taking the right steps right now. But I was definitely definitely peeking and peeking on a few there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, um, because it's literally last year, I just literally don't know what happened. Um, and, um, you know, I keep telling myself, you know, I kept throwing. I kept doing everything, um, you know, I needed to do. And I just don't know what happened. So, you know, for all this to play out right now in the first spring training game, to just see those numbers, yes, it's very sure. And it just that tick of confidence goes up a little bit more. Um, like I said, just knowing I have that, I've had success with that kind of velo. And if I can maintain all, maintain that, all my stuff works off of the velo, my slider change up, curveball, whatever it may be. And um, it's just very happy, very good spot right now. And just last thing, speaking of that and everything working off the fastball, the last pitch to Lux, I think, was a change up? Um, a change up or a slider? Um, one of the two, uh, uh, me and John today, just, you know, we, we were going to attack him until they couldn't hit the fastball pretty much, so we didn't really throw that many off speed. Um, but, you know, we just did there and there just to mix it in. But, yeah, today was just kind of about fastball, fastball command, and going out there and attacking the zone. But on the, on the last pitch that you got the strike, though, what Oh, yeah, yeah, sir, yes, yeah, slider. Yeah, we're trying to go so back door there. Slider, yes, right? sir, yes, sir. Tried to t just took a little off to try to hit that spot. Yep. And so did that, did that tell you anything, that kind of, the, that you fooled him on that and got him out of here? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's early for spring anyway, the, the old backup slider. You know, it wasn't the best slider I threw there, but, you know, it got the job done, and, um, you know, just you just have to throw a conviction and throw with that mentality. You're going to get everybody out. But um, yeah, just start mixing in my pitches all there. And uh, it wasn't the best pitch, but you know, just walk off like I was supposed to throw that pitch and and get ready for the next inning. Yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll go to Kennedy Landry, Texas Ring, MLB.com. Hey, Mike, just, you know, how are you feeling physically throughout the whole game? Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I'm just, the thing's over there, but uh, just physically, I, I felt great. I think just the nerves and my heart felt like it was going to explode because it's been a while, um, you know, since I've been out in a game like that and with, you know, actual fans and everything. My wife and kids were in the stands, all that fun stuff, so I just think just being more nervous and just getting this one out the way um, just because of everything that happened, I just want to, just put all this behind me, keep working on all the things I've been working on um, over the past two, three weeks, and um, just go from there. But yeah, just, I felt great out there, arm, you know, body and everything. It's just the stress, and, you know, it felt like my heart was going to come out my, uh, my body. But, you know, if you don't have those type of butterflies and all that stuff, and uh, something might be wrong with you. Um, but overall, it's just, you know, I feel like a kid again out there, um, you know, just being comfortable with this team and, just be able to do, you know, what I need to do to get ready every day, and you know, just to be myself. That translates out into the mound, and you know, good things start to happen. So. You said your your wife and your kids are here. Uh, you know, what does that mean for you to be able to, you know, like you said, get back out of there and you know, have fun on the mound? I guess. It, it means a lot because my son actually turned three. Uh, my daughter's two, and they're actually starting to realize, like, hey, daddy's a baseball player. You know, he's out on the field. You know, my son finally recognized me out there today, and it's just, you know, those kind of heartwarming things that kind of takes your mind away from baseball a little bit, and, you know, you just, you know, think about, um, you know, how good your life is and all that stuff, and just them be able to be here um, to support me, you know, especially during these times, and um, coming all the way to Atlanta just to be here with me and support me and come to these games, and um, it means the world because just, you know, overall last year my son, my family didn't get to come to any games, and, um, you know, he's just been itching to come out to some baseball, the whole family, um, really. So it's just, you know, that brought a you know, a smile to my face and it just makes me, you know, want to go out there, fuels the fire a little bit fuels the fire a little bit more when I go out there and warm up and uh, you know, get ready to enter the game and just knowing he's watching his dad, you know, play some baseball, it's uh, pretty dang cool. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Okay, Jeff Wilson, Fort Worth Star Telegram. Hey Mike, um, 
you know, the, the terms of your contract for this year are one year, but it's really it's really two years. And then, and who knows if you pitch well, maybe it gets gets longer than that. But I, I guess that's how you look at it. Maybe a two year deal. Get let them do what they got to do this year, and then maybe next year you're part of a contender. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, because that was the whole part, you know, of me coming over, you know, with this team is. You know, I know everyone was just looking for those one year's deals or whatever, but I just want to be comfortable. Um, you know, once the front office and I talked a little bit this off season, it was kind of a place where I wanted to be. And um, I knew a few familiar uh, faces over here and just the talks Woody and Doug have had with all of us. And they're just, we're going to be a pretty dang good ball club this year and for years to come. And like you said, you know, I just hope this isn't a one year deal, um, you know, because the staff, front office, like all the players that just treated me, you know, nothing but respect. So nice ever since I got over here and that's, what I kind of touched on before is just being comfortable um, and just having that confidence and that's just what makes you a team and uh, just go out there and have fun individually as well. And um, so it's just been, it's been really, really fun. And um, yeah, to say especially the new stadium, you get to come over and have that. And uh, yeah, it's just, you never think about these things as one year things. You always want to stay with these teams, help them win as best as you can, help these younger, younger guys get up to the big leagues and just become that overall winning team and go out there and win a World Series. Okay, thanks. Uh, Levi Weaver, The Athletic. So, Mike, if I'm reading between the lines here, what I'm hearing is when your family's in the stands, you throw 97. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I think you addressed this earlier, and you said, Russia, is it, do you think it's just the difference in weight gain that is that has happened, or are you truly just completely perplexed by why the Velo dipped and is back now? Um, it's a little bit of both. Like, I kind of... The only thing I didn't really work out, um, you know, during that, that COVID period of time, um, you know, but ever since the off season hit, you know, even during the last year when I was in Gwinnett, um, this off season and just coming here and working out, like I said, I've, you know, gained a solid eight pounds already again. Um, just getting that weight back, getting that velo back, figuring out a few things in mechanics wise. I just wasn't using my legs, period. Um, you know, maybe the last year. So that just added how many miles an hour right there, you know, I'm almost two, three, four miles an hour. And just, you know, just having that drive and just get going and just having that body loose and just, you know, going down that mound and all that thing. But, yeah, the family, it's family in the stands helps a little bit. Um, you know, you want to show off and all that. But just, yeah, just knowing, you know, I turned around and, you know, the first pitch was 95 or whatever like that. It's just, okay, I can huh, take that take that deep breath and just go out there and, and attack and just go out there and use all my stuff. Because, like I said before, the stuff just plays off my fastball when I, when I have that kind of velo. And, um, you know, you get weak contacts, strikeouts, whatever it may be. And uh, you just you just have fun. You just start having fun again in the, in the game of baseball. Not, not to get too technical or in the weeds, when you, but when you say that using your legs, are you talking about more push off from your back leg or more drive from your front leg? What? Uh, yeah, just the back leg. I'm just, I was using the top part of my quad more than, you know, sitting on my butt, glute and hammy and all that stuff. I want to drive into the ground, you know, instead of falling to the left and just drifting, and, you know, kind of be lazy a little bit. Um, so it's just that all those things that kind of just had to point me, got into some lazy habits, just got into some stupid habits, and, uh, you know, that was led me here today. You know, we kind of fixed all those things up, um, cleaned them up, and we're, like, just kind of at the beginning process of, of cleaning all these things up. So that was kind of like, you know, the first time um, out on the mound after, you know, all the tweaks and stuff. So some things might be a little, little off still, um, you know, but this is just a great, great first time out with everything we've been working on, and it's just, hey, I could not – um, could not be any more happier right now. Right on, man. Thank you. Thank you. We've got time for a couple more. Let's go back to Evan Grant. Hey, Mike, if I, if I remember one thing from when we talked to you after you signed, and just now when you mentioned that you weren't able to work out, you said you were able to throw and, and do all of that stuff. So the one thing that you were missing was weights, right? I mean, you weren't able to lift. Yeah, just straight up strength, probably part, okay. yeah. So I, a dumb question, like, did you get – Weights for Christmas or anything? <laughs> no, yeah, we just, I'm just assuming nothing like that's going to happen again. Um, but yeah, just, you know, everything was kind of sold out too because everyone was buying, you know, all the weights and stuff like that. But, you know, yeah, we're going to make sure we're prepared um, enough for, for the next time if something like that happens. But yeah, I mean, I was throwing, um, you know, playing catch, running, doing all that kind of stuff to, you know, keep the arm in shape. I just wasn't, you know, banned, actually squatting, you know, RDLs, all that kind of stuff. And, Obviously, it, you know, it shows, so uh, it showed, and, you know, it took me a minute to get it all back, but 
you know, once I got it back, I ain't going to let it <laughs> let it go away again because, uh, you know, that was not a fun period of time. 